in this, did you see when uh, Candace Owens spoke with, with like T.I. and Killer Mike in front of a fucking uh, bunch of fucking black celebrities? Have you seen that? Saw a snippet. I try to, well, you know, she, yeah. she's kind of cringe, dude, because she's kind of like another one of those boomer. Anytime there's like, a bunch of black people getting together to talk, I sit there and listen, man. And she's another one of these, like, boomer placating, like, astroturfed, like, Dems of the real racist, like... But she's not a lefty, so I can listen to anything that's she, not a lefty. Anyway, anyway, and that's not that I fucking agree with everything that she was saying, but they can only look like... They start fucking chimping out, dude, if you don't fucking that, start your sentence with that you were fucking oppressed. Mike, do not Candace, let him tell you Candace, that line. Mike, wait, hello. wait, wait. Hold on, Katrina, 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 are you Katrina. Katrina. Mike has been sitting here school. listening to Both. all of y'all talk. Mike, Both. go ahead, brother. Both. Brother, go ahead. Niggas. Go ahead. Niggas. Niggas. Nigga, 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 nigga. Stop it. Stop. Everybody hush. Hush. And listen. Because I'm about to give you the secret to what the fuck y'all are witnessing. What you niggas, N-E-G-U-S, of the royal kind, that niggas, N-I-double-G-S, what y'all are seeing right now are free people arguing over who got the best master. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. The welfare system. When the government says we'll give you more money if you don't marry the father of your children, you are incentivizing bad behavior in our community. What happens when you remove a father from the home? This is why I do not mess with feminism at all. I'm not with it. This breakdown and mocking masculinity, making it seem like there's something wrong to be a man, all of this contributes to the breakdown of family. When all you right, remove- hey, 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 hold on. So, hold on, brother, hold on. There's gonna be an opportunity for each of you to engage, but I wanna make sure this sister has the right to talk while she's here, that's why we invited her. So it's let her okay. say what she needs to say, and then let's keep it moving. Come on, y'all. The single, the single motherhood rate in the 1960s in black America, and they, th they, they thought that... Now, at a, the hold, single, hold on, hold on, at I want to finish no, no, this. No, I'm, I'm, this is on your behalf. At a certain point, we can't be assholes. At a, at a certain point, these are black men and women, and in particular, these are black women. Like, I, like, on, on some real G shit, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter how you feel about her personally. Everything she has just said, Louis Farrakhan said for the last 25 fucking years. So, 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 uh, so, with no, and, and I don't know if she's a fan of Farrakhan, I know me and Tamika are, bam. But, but, you cannot take the truth and be mad at who tells it to you. So just chill, bruh, shut the fuck up, let her say it, and receive the information. That's it. Like, Killer Mike has to fucking calm down the fucking careening fucking screams echoing off the fucking walls if she's not leading with that they're fucking oppressed and fucking placating to him. And then, like, T.I. gets on there and says some ignorant shit with a fucking affect, and they're like, hell yeah. <laughs> like, these fucking millionaire black people are like, yeah, we are oppressed. Kind of gross. They don't like him, don't hate him. What's happening, man? It's your boy, Wiz Propane, man. Compton, born and raised. What it do? Okay, hey man. Okay. So, you know, is New York City like kind of famous because of like you know, uh, in the past with all the, the 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 gangster rappers and all of that. So I want you to tell the people what Compton is like today, because I want to know too. Is, is it like it used to be in the 80s and 90s? Is it better? Or is it worse? Nah, nah, it's not. The 80s and 90s, it was a little, it was way more crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right now we're still going down. We just had a few incidents um, not too long ago. Thank you, 1993 so, Bill Clinton crime bill. The exact same. A lot of people <laughs> got locked up. No, a lot of people got killed. Oh, stop. pause, pause, pause. About the crime bill, dude. This is another fucking, like, uh, conservative ink, uh, Blexit sort of flipping of the narrative when you, when, they, when you hear him say, like, oh, Dems are the real racist. Bill Clinton's and Joe Biden's crime bill. It's like, what are they doing but trying to liberalize the conservative movement by saying shit like yeah, that? Yeah, I see, I see what you, I see what you, I, I understand their approach because, like, I mean, most people are normies, and they're trying to attack the most popular narratives, which is racism. So I understand their fucking uh, their strategy, but on a functional, a bad, intellectual level, it's, it's disingenuous. Bad, it's a bad strategy because you're moving the fucking you're moving your movement to the left, and you're not standing up for what basically redefining. I know, but things are really far left right now. 
redefining conservatism as being soft on crime, which is not conservative. And if it is, then conservatism right? is use. If it is, then conservatism is useless. In in oh. order to be well, dude, this is this is how fast things move. In order to become the president in the early nineties, you had to be tough on crime. And then in order to be the president, like when Obama ran his first term, he had to be a Christian. Eight years later, Trump barely had to be a fucking Christian. Obama had to be way more of a Christian than Trump had to be to get fucking elected as a, as a Democrat, too. That's how quickly things keep fucking shifting in the country. It's so hard to keep up with. Just, and you forget about it, too, when you don't, like, look back on it. It's just bad, though. I mean, that's why I was saying earlier I don't watch someone like Candace Owen. Well, I mean, I have, and I, I do. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't, I don't sign off on... Um, yeah, I don't sign off on Blexit... Because I, I, I know that the rhetoric is basically just like diet progressivism. It's like progressivism driving the speed or sorry, uh, you know, it's it's just uh yeah, it's progressives driving the speed limit. I know, basically. but I I, progressive, so I support progressive, anything that's anti left. Progressives that don't not anti left. It's capitulating to the left. It's it's progressivism that just so happens to not like abortion, right? Hey, dude, when it comes to the left, I'm by any means necessary. However you get people away from the far left, I, I'm fucking okay with. You're not, getting, you're not getting away from the far left. You're joining the far left. Yeah, yeah. That's the far left. Blake sits the far left. Taking them off the Democratic plantation and having them fucking try to vote conservative. Well, if voting conservative means being soft on crime and letting a bunch of fucking criminals out, then yeah. And, and, and chastising. Well, no, well, no and chastising it's, it's not fucking, as bad. If it's, it's not as bad it, as, as a lefty. It's chastising a tough on crime bill that got criminals off the street, then it's left. I know it's a two party system though, though. Leftify left leftistizing the conservative movement and it's bringing Would back, you rather people on the right be in control, or people on the left? People on the right. I mean which is it's why a two party system, right. It's the lesser which, which of two is, evils. When I say that I would rather people on the right be in control, I mean that I want them to be on the right, which means I want them to be tough on crime. So therefore, yeah, Blexit, I'll, I'll, for Blexit I'll is settle not, for as least left as possible. It's not like I'm voting for the bitch. I, I mean, well, you're going to be voting for eventually when again, when we're old men or like a little bit older, we're going to be voting for a so-called conservative movement that is going to be arguing with the left about who is more in favor of drag queen story time. All I can do is vote for the best available option I have. <laughs> it's not like that's, that's like literally the best thing I can do. Like, I like, would you, th would you do a throwaway vote to a third party to like really vote for someone you believe in, which would uh, then take away votes from conservatives, which would then possibly get a fucking lefty elected. I'd rather vote for someone I don't fully agree with, There's so it's fucking, not a lefty. Uh, that's the thing, dude. They are lefties. That's the point I'm getting across. That they. Uh, uh, I lefties. mean, dude, that's. I think uh, it's just. That, I think it's just lefties. that I'm. I think it's just that I'm like far right, and you are maybe still center left or center right or something. Maybe that's. Maybe that's what we're looking at here. I'm. I'm, I'm definitely more toward the middle, which is funny because I say way more racist shit. <laughs> I'm all over the map, baby. Just fucking, well, I disavow because, you know, you got to hide your power level. I mean, this is only like, what is, is this, like the Frieza saga or the, the Raditz saga? I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm the wild, I'm the, I'm, I'm the wild card. I go full transparency. All right. Number three, stay dangerous. Uh, stay dangerous. Oh, Jesus. You had to ruin it. You got to stay dangerous. Stay dangerous. Uh, stay dangerous. Uh, God yeah. damn it. I tried to hold up. So like when I, I like to, I always like to ask people uh, if y'all seen some of my videos, some other things. Like, what do y'all think about like our country, like the president of the United States? What y'all think Man, about him? Fuck Trump. 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 Hey, listen, Trump. let me say this. Trump. It's, it's Trump. fuck Trump. Trump. But the, the only, the only, from my 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 perspective of the whole situation, it's absolutely fuck Trump because the way he's going about things is completely wrong. Because I'm from an immigrant. Articulate. And all that, so I don't feel all right. Right. nuanced like, opinion. Time, More articulate. Have to say fuck Clinton. And motherfucking Hillary, because they started the three strike law. You have to say motherfuckers started the 1020 crack law. You have to say fuck Obama for the shitty. Like everyone did some bullshit. So you can't just throw all the pressure on Trump. Right, right. Even though he is the most worst one besides Bush. I just hate his but face. Articulation no, equals mean, intellectual capacity. No, I mean the he has the most nuanced opinion anybody else. Bush and Obama are probably the worst, but I mean that's. A
side thing, but uh, see how they are against but, tough on crime shit, but they right. say they're down with family values, but then they don't want crackheads or I'm sorry, crack dealers to go to jail. You know, like that's dude, why I don't like Blexit, dude. I, no, dude, I'm talking about this dude. I'm talking about the more, the, the less nuggety you sound and the more articulate you are, the higher your capacity for thinking. That was a nuanced opinion. Do you, know, do, do you see what I'm saying? But I'm trying to drive home that point because if you support African-American vernacular English, you support dumb nuggets. <laughs> There's a direct fucking correlation there. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, dude, when we're elderly men, the progressives will be saying, yes, you do need to go in there and literally wipe the shit out of their asses. And the conservatives will be saying, oh, but the way that the progressives go in there... And the way the, the way that they go in there and wipe wipe their asses is the real racism. The way we wipe their asses is is what do you call it? Oscar me. Yeah, we, <laughs> we conservatives, the, the way we wipe their asses is the real conservatism, and they're they, the way they do it and to wipe their asses is the real racism. 